conditional statements and converse. The statements which can be written in the if then form are called conditional statements. The part of the statement following if is called the antecedent and the part following then is called the consequent. For example, consider the statement the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular bisectors of each other. The statement can be written in the conditional form as if the given quadrilateral is a rhombus then its diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other. Here in this statement the part coming after if that is the given quadrilateral is a rhombus is antecedent and the part coming after then that is its diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other is called as consequent. Proofs Self-evident geometrical statements which were accepted by all are called postulates. Example, there are infinite lines passing through a point. There is one and only one line passing through two points. All right angles are congruent with each other. These are called as postulates. Properties proved logically are called theorems. Let us learn a direct proof of the property of angles made by two intersecting lines. Theorem. The opposite angles formed by two intersecting lines are of equal measures. Given line AB and line CD intersect at point O such that O is in between AB and O is in between CD. We have to prove angle AOC equal to angle DOB and angle BOC equal to angle AOD. Proof. Angle AOC plus angle BOC is equal to 180 degree angles in linear pair. Similarly, angle BOC plus angle BOD equal to 180 degree angles in linear pair. Angle AOC plus angle BOC equal to angle BOC plus angle BOD. That is from these two. Both are equal to 180. Hence, these two left sides also will become equal to one another. Therefore, after eliminating BOC and BOC from both the sides, we get angle AOC equal to angle BOD. Similarly, it can be proved that angle BOC equal to angle AOD. Practice set 1.3. Write the following statements in if-then form. The diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. Solution. If the diagonals of a quadrilateral are congruent, then it is a rectangle. The diagonals of a quadrilateral are congruent is called as antecedent and it is a rectangle is called as a consequent. Second question. The opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. Solution. If the quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then the opposite angles are congruent. Second question. Write the converse of the following statements. The diagonals of a con rectangle are congruent. Solution. Converse will be same as if then statement. If the diagonals of a quadrilateral are congruent, then it is a rectangle. Second question. All the alternate angles formed by two parallel lines and their transversal are congruent. Solution. If the alternate angles formed by two lines and the transversal are congruent, then the lines are parallel. We come to the end of this chapter. Happy learning and problem solving. Problem solving is to identify the problems, discuss about it, solve it, and again go back to the problems and practice it again and again. Thank you.